Our master Moses, peace be upon him, was addressing the children of Israel in a wonderful speech. It made them weep and humble their hearts. After he finished his speech, a man followed him and asked him, A prophet of God, is there anyone on earth who is more knowledgeable than you? Our master Moses said no. So Allah reprimanded him because he did not acknowledge that only God was the most knowledgeable. And he told that there is a man in two complex seas. He is more knowledgeable than you. And he showed him how to reach him by hunting a whale roasting it and putting it in a basket. And when he reaches the two complex seas, the grilled whale will jump from his basket into the water and guide him on the way to the righteous servant. History tells us that his name was al Khizr, and he was the most knowledgeable of all the people of the earth at that time. In the name of Allah, the Merciful, Moses said to him, Should I follow you so that you would teach me what you have been taught? He said that you will not be able to stay with me patiently. And how to be patient with what one does not even know about? He said, God willing, you will find me patient. And I will not disobey you in anything. He said, if you follow me, do not ask me about anything until I mention it to you. Indeed, God has said the truth. The fare is low, the ship is luxurious, and the food is good. Come on, people! You're welcome. I heard you accept two ride for 30 pieces. Father, this rugged ship is not suitable. You need to recover. I will feel better if I pay less. I only have the five pieces of silver and I will work for the rest of my wages cleaning the ship. قال له موسى هل أتبعك على أن تعلمني مما علمت رشدا قال إنك لن تستطيع معي صبرا وكيف تصبر على ما لم تحط به خبرا قال ستجدني إن شاء الله صابرا ولا أعصي لك أمرا قال فإن اتبعتني فلا تسألني عن شيء حتى أحدث لك منه ذكرا Our Lord, the King Hadad ibn Badad al-Kabir. What's bring you to four? I have a very good news, my Lord. Say what you have and be precise. We got four new ships. Only four ships? You said it is good news? Take all the ships forcibly from their owners. Looks like a storm is blowing. The storm has already begun. I think we must protect ourselves from the water. What do we do, sucker? Hold the sails. Let's wait for the wind to calm down a bit. My lord, the storm has pushed. 20 ships to anchor and we have taken possession of all of them as you have commanded. What is this? Are you blind? It's a shipwreck. It can be fixed my lord. But How dare you? The assets of King Hadad ibn Madad must include the best and most powerful ship. And what do we do with this? Throw them back to their owners to fix them and drown them. This is the end. We will die here. We are poor. We have not harmed anyone. Let each of us admit his sins and mistakes. Look at the land that is on the horizon. Is this another lie? 
Rather, it is the truth. Can't you see that distant bird? Let us row towards that land. It's our chance to survive. The ship of the poor sailor stopped at the land on which our master Al Khizr walked, and Moses, peace be upon him, followed him so that he could learn from him. It's weird. How did the storm stop all of the sudden? There are two men waving at us. One of them is Al Khizr. And who is this Al Khizr? A good and blessed man, but he does not socialize much with people. Shall we get paid? Of course not. It is enough that we will be honored by their boarding the ship. Look there, Al Khizr is pulling a boat out of the ship. Are you sure of what you say? I see it with my own eyes. Go see for yourself. I can't believe this. Why would he harm us when we did not even take any fare from him? Even his companion was blaming him. I heard him saying that you scared it up to drown its people. What is the use of admonition now? The ship is going to drown now? We will have to stop at the nearest port. قال ألم أقل إنك لن تستطيع معي صبرا قال لا تأخذني بما نسيت ولا ترهقني من أمري عسرا The wages, Mr. Halim. Which wages? We almost drowned. We were moving the water like captives or slaves. And the work, Usakar. How are we going to eat? And from where will we live? I'm just like you. I don't know anything. The Lord does what He wants. Do we leave Al Khizr and his companion, or do we complain to the judge? There is no judge in this land. King Hadad bin Badad is the one who rules all the things, and he is known to destroy everything in front of him. Who owns this ship? Me and my brother are its owners, sir. This ship has been transferred to the royal fleet. Why? What have we done? These are the king's orders and his new law. Come on, get away. What is going on with us? First, a good person rides with us and then smashes our ship, and now the unjust king will take it away from us. We have no choice but to go and look for work. Which work? We only know navigations. All ships have become the property of King Hadad. Hold on, poor sailors. This ship is punctured. We do not need it. Take it back. Look, no man. Does the water seep inside? Not a single drop. The ship returned to its first state. The board have been put back in place. We didn't imagine that repairing it would be so easy. Let's put it in the water. Wait for me. I have a bag full of silver. What is this blessing that befell us? This is due to Al Khizr. If it wasn't for the puncture of the ship, the unjust king would have taken it, and now we might have been servant of people. It surprised the one who is better than you and me, Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. But he remembered his promise to Al Khizr, and he returned to accompany him in silence. He left the ship and went to the land of Nayabasa. أما السفينة فكانت لمساكين يعملون في البحر فأردت أن أعيبها وكان وراءهم ملك يأخذ كل سفينة غصبا. Come on, Haythor, one last bite. No, no, I want sweet. Sweet after you finish your plate. I said I don't want. I will get angry with you and quarrel with you if you do it again. Be patient, Elia. This attitude will spoil him, O Sabrun. He is our only support in the future. But you should blame him for his bad behavior. Tomorrow he will grow up and become sensible. Then he will realize the right himself. 
Hi, Thor. Hi, Thor. Where are you, my child? Lower your voice, Ilya. I am tired of working all day. I want to rest a little. Where did the boy go? I do not know. He was playing here before I sleep. He got out of the house. Don't worry. Maybe he is playing in the yard a little. Please, please, look for him. My heart tells me that he is in danger. Well, I will go for your sake. I have a lot of candy. I will give one to whoever wins the game. Well, hide, Hector, and who find you in the winner? Close your eyes all, then count from one to ten. Uh huh. What happened to my son? I don't know! I swear! I don't know! We closed our eyes for hide and seek. We opened our eyes and found him like this. <laughs> my dear son. <laughs> Ilya, are you still awake? I will sleep soon. I know that the separation of Haithur broke your heart and broke my heart too. It is God's will and a year has passed since his death. You mean his murder? I won't rest until I find out who killed him. You must rest and live for the child we are waiting for. Hythor was looking for a brother among his wretched friends. Do not blame them. They have no guilt in his death. We do not know who killed him. We have to be patient and not disbelieve in fate and destiny. I never hurt anyone and I never lie. I have never committed any sin in my life. Why all this then? God will reward us well. Calm down and be patient. The messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, says, The boy was killed by Al-Khizr. He had showed the signs of infidelity from early age and he would have caused great hardship for his parents. They are both good people and strong believers. They did not deserve this cruel treatment. The Messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, said that honoring one's parents is the most beloved of deeds to God. After praying on time, God wanted to compensate the righteous parents. Your health, mother, shall I bring your medicine? Adan, my dear son, I was dreaming of your brother, Haithur. May God have mercy on him. Please, mom, take this medicine. Weird. It tastes good, like honey. I added drop of honey to it until the bitterness was gone. God bless you, my son. And as long as you are satisfied with me, my mother, Go to bed next to your wife. Rather, I will stay here at your feet. Perhaps you will need me. Is there anything you want to me to do, Dad? No, my son. I'm just going to the washroom. Put your shoes on and I'll wait at the door. No, no. Just stay by your mother's side. She will be happy looking at you.
I'm so much happier looking at her beloved face. وأما الغلام فكان أبواه مؤمنين فخشينا أن يرهقهما طغيانا وكفرا فأردنا أن يبدلهما ربهما خيرا منه زكاة وأقرب رحما What wisdom warrants murder This is what occurred to the heart of the noble prophet Moses peace be upon him but he remembered his promise to Al-Khizr so he remained silent and continued the journey delicious watermelon in one piece of silver a whole piece of silver for this little watermelon yes mr umehud umeshka the price is too high you will not sell anything What happened? Why have you covered the head of your father Saman? He can't breathe like that. Our father, the good man, has died. <laughs> died? No, no. To whom you are leaving us, father? This scream hurts the dead. We must hold ourselves up and think like a man. Yes. We have to think about burying him first but we are young and we need help Surely the neighbors and the people of the village will help us in such difficult circumstances I wish I could have stand beside you but I am sick and I am afraid to pass the infection on to you Let's go to another neighbor excuse me the heat of the sun is harmful to my health This is the third neighbor who refuses to help us. We will try with others and if everyone refuses, we will do our best and do our duty toward our father. Uh, we got so tired today. The important thing is that we buried our father. We have to wait for mourners to come. There is only this old lady. A little good for a poor woman. We have nothing to offer you. No, auntie, wait. We have some bread and water. It is true that the bread is bit old, but it is edible. Thanks anyway. I will die of hunger, my brother. Please don't remind me of the food. We went to every house in the village. We offered to work in the fields or herding sheep or anything. I am thinking of traveling and leaving that village. No, our father always advised us to stay in the house and never leave it or sell it. Sell it? Who would buy a poor house? Its walls are cracked. Meanwhile, our master Al-Khizr and our master Moses, peace be upon them both, entered that village and they asked for food, but all the people refused to welcome them. Oh, fear. It's Al-Khizr, good man. He said to be one of the prophets. Whoever it is, we will not give him anything except for fee. Saman, Saman, wake up quickly. What happened? The wall of the house has a large crack. Are you kidding? We know that the wall of the house has been cracked for a long time. The slate has found it today. Horribly, see for yourself. My lord, the house will soon fall if we do not restore it. Let's hurry up then. Do not come close or the wall will fall over our heads. What to do, Saman? Home renovation requires strength, skills and tools. We don't have any of it. We will ask the neighbors. Neighbors again? We will not lose anything. It really wouldn't be worse than what we are in. Didn't I told you that I am sick? The house will fall over our heads, me and my brother. And you want me to make him fall upon our heads, the three of us? No use. Let's go, Saman. This is the last neighbor we turned to in the village. What is wrong with the world? A while ago too strong mature men came to me asking for food and hospitality now two boys come to me asking for help what is wrong with the world 
Our master Al Khizr went to the wall which is about to be destroyed and repaired and built it, and our master Moses stood astonished. <laughs> فَانطَلَقَا حَتَّى إِذَا أَتَيَا أَهْلَ قَرْيَةٍ اسْتَطْعَمَا أَهْلَهَا فَأَبَوْا أَن يُضَيِّفُوهُمَا فَأَبَوْا أَن يُضَيِّفُوهُمَا فَوَجَدَا فِيهَا جِدَارًا يُرِيدُ أَن يَنقَضَّ فَأَقَامَهُ قَالَ لَوْ شِئْتَ لَاتَّخَذْتَ عَلَيْهِ أَجْرًا Shakrun, wake up quickly. See the strange man repairing the cracked wall. How does he do that? The people of the village refused to feed him and his friend yesterday. I do not know. The important thing is that the house is being fixed. When the boys grow up and reach the age of manhood. Ah, oh, my beloved home. No matter how far we travel. Our longing for it always remain the same. Praise be to the God. May God bless us with the great goodness. This small house is no longer enough for us. Are you thinking of getting married, brother? Honestly, yes, but I am waiting for you to precede me. You are the big brother. In this case, we will need a larger house. And what prevents us? We have money, tools, and the ability to build. Give away for me. Are you still alive? What's the hurry, Grandma? Make fun of me. Make fun of me. I will go to the virtuous Saman and Shakrun, sons of a good man. What happened to them? They are demolishing their home to build a bigger one and wider. For sure. After all, a neighbor helps the neighbor. They feed all the poor, celebrating the new home. Then we will come with you. For sure. After all, a neighbor helps the neighbor. New house and food for the poor? Two losses in one day? What happened to the world? Shakrun, we are almost done. I don't feel tired at all, brother. What is this? It's not a rock. Wait till I help you. It is a huge slab of gold. Your father was rich. Now I know where he put his fortune. Take a good look at him. It has an inscription on it. I can read it clearly. Read out loud. Strange are the people who knew about the fire and laugh. Strange are those who believe in destiny and still get sad. Strange are those who are certain of death and then live without worry. Oh God, these tips are a real treasure. Wait, there is another inscription. I bear witness there is no God but Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. Muhammad? I had never heard of him before. But it is written. What are you going to do with the treasure? We will always follow the valuable advice. Thank God we did not discover it in our youth. Otherwise we would have been deceived by gold and not understand what is more valuable. وأما الجدار فكان لغلامين يتيمين في المدينة وكان تحته كنز لهما وكان أبوهما صالحا وكان أبوهما صالحا فأراد ربك أن يبلغ أشدهما ويستخرج كنزهما رحمة من ربك وما فعلته عن أمري ذلك تأويل ما لم تستطع عليه صبرا